Uh, hello, uh, my name is uh, Ivan Pozo Iaz, otherwise known as Atreo. I'm an angelic oracle imagineer. Uh, basically, uh, predominantly, I'm a um, clairvoyant automatic writer. I channel the angels. So I've been doing that for about 21 years time. And I do it mostly with inclusive, uh, compassionate, spiritual wisdom, what I call uh, the Jewels of Truth series as uh, statements. And I also have a, another side gig, you could say, of channeling from the angels, which are inspirational um, uh, conceptual designs. Um, you could say inventions, business models, governmental policy. Very creative, very in-depth, but I really don't cover that here on this uh, channel of YouTube of uh, Trails Oracle which is the same name as my blog site of about almost a dozen years now at uh, Google's Blogger. The link for that will be on my website and I'll put the link in the text section but otherwise it's jewelsoftruth.us. Um, I wanted to do something different with this video. Usually I do postings of my uh, longhand or shorthand format uh, Jewels of Truth, Truth st statements. But I want to do something uh, that's um, one of my longhand statements from uh, January 2015. I usually don't go that far back. I only just post uh, vlogs of my most recent uh, material, more or less. Um, except when I cover the Jewels of Truth favorite quotes of the month uh, type of deal. Um, this statement that I channeled is going to be very controversial. This is the mystic portion that I've been transformed into by uh, uh, channeling and writing, uh, the automatic writing, besides the sage part. So um, this will basically give a metaphysical, you could say, um, 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 umbrella to the LGB, uh, what is it, LGB, T, uh, Q plus, it's like an alphabet soup of, of gender identification. But nonetheless, this is a metaphysical, so you could, you could say liberation. It's not going to go over well with fundamentals, and, uh, and you, you'll probably possibly even reject the, the notion of it, but just consider it as a possibility. Uh, basically, what I call genderless souls all of us share the singular soul of God, and, and that includes all life on the earth, in the stars, creation. Although, in human terms, we claim our soul separate from other people, and that's our ego. But since, uh, as it states in the book of Genesis, um, around the first chapter, it states that we're made in the image and likeness of God. God has no gender whatsoever. We could call God him, her, or it. I often use the term goddess as the feminine aspect of, of the creator. So God has no gender, meaning if we are the children of God in that image and likeness, Metaphysically, I don't mean uh, by human terms, but metaphysically, our souls don't have any genitalia or anything like that. Um, it's almost like a, 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 a what they call a, a dronanus. Um, I'm getting tongue-tied here, but I think you get the point. Um, and there's also a, a biblical verse. I may be uh, taking it out of context a little bit. But it's there in, um, let me see, in the New Testament. It's in Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. And I'll, and I'll read it twice. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male and female. All of you are one in Christ Jesus. That last line it's self-evident. We're one in Christ Jesus. We're one in God because uh, according to the angel I channeled, we have no gender in, in the Holy Spirit. So let me just read the statement. It's about, let me see how many paragraphs. 
It's about four paragraphs long, and this is statement number 1893 on the topic of genderless souls. And you'll get the idea what the angel was trying to explain here. Let no man or woman judge their peers in an incomplete truth. For it brings shame to themselves, and so it becomes a miscarriage of the sacred dignity of all living souls. All people and even creatures should have an equal grace before goddess to love one another in whatever form that is mutually acceptable, to condemn another based on their sexual orientation, or in this case gender, when there is love in truth with full devoted expression, is to deny the Spirit of God to cohabit with such genuine lovers, be they straight, gay, lesbian, transgendered, and so forth. I say this with conviction as a mystic soul of the Lord God. Our very souls in God's immaculate image and likeness has no gender whatsoever! Exclamation point. Our souls as eternal spirits have no genitals or mammalian glands like our physical bodies do. God's own image and likeness is a dynamic, mysterious paradox beyond our so-called rational Puritan values, as it is spoken in Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. I quote, There is no longer Jew or Greek, there is no longer slave or free, there is no longer male and female, for all of you are one in Christ Jesus. We are inclusively one in Goddess. Our souls are infinite and eternal as, as in God's own image and likeness. So as to condemn homosexuals who honor their core truth in being true to their living dignity is to cast stones only to seek to become victims ourselves as ignorant to, to your very much gen genderless or gender-free souls in heaven. Our spirits are neither just male or just female, for they are both and they are not. It is a living paradox. We are majestic souls in an infinite image and likeness of God the Creator. To condemn lovers of whatever sexual orientation or any other form of discrimination is to stain yourselves for a time in a fear born from hell alone. To love one another is meant in a complete holistic manner, without remorse or reservations. Bigotry lends itself to a myriad of karmic lessons until you mature as souls incarnated as people. God marries all genuine lovers in a spirit of thanksgiving, so that his colossal Holy Spirit spreads in his own image and likeness throughout all creations, plural. Amen. And I sign it there with my name, Ivan Pozoia's Atreo. And to give more background information, I'm not gay. I'm heterosexual. Uh, I also, um, I guess, I become, a, you could consider me a worthy psychic or a worthy vessel of, uh, to channel the angels. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't uh, even drink a, a coffee. I'm celibate, so I guess uh, that counts, and, uh, and so forth. So, um, but still, when I see injustice, I have to call it out, and the angel through me obliged me and gave me that mystical truth of the heavens. So, um, I guess I'll leave it there. Uh, my website is jewelsoftruth.us. I'll put the link to this uh, blog entry from January 2015 here in the text section. Uh, if you like the video and I aren't pissed off at me yet, uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel. And I uh, thank you for considering it with an open mind, hopefully with an open heart. Even if you disagree, as long as it expands your inventory of uh, metaphysical I ideas of what we are as souls with God in us forever. Thank you and uh, God bless. Amen. Bye-bye now.